Well, good afternoon or good morning, everybody. We are uh, on the Tennessee River here in Knoxville, Tennessee, fishing for some blue catfish, flathead catfish, and maybe a striper or two. Who knows? But we out here cut baiting with fresh cut gizzard shad, skipjack, white bass, and threadfin shad. And I'm here with my buddy Charlie on his boat. And we are gonna try to put some big old fish in the boat. So stay tuned and we'll see what we catch. Could be a big flathead. You put it down. First by the morning, first by the morning. Which one getting hit? Oh, that's that big double bait. Yeah. Are we moving at all? Well, I missed the first takedown, y'all, but we got the first fish on. We were fishing a submerged bridge rock pile, just spot locked with the trolling motor. Got a drift sock out, got fresh skipjack, and fresh live big old gizzard shed. Fish Cherokee Lake kind. Oh, he's straight up and down. That might be a good fish. I like it when they do that straight up and down stuff. Ooh. He took it down good. You may have something there. You gonna be able to net him by yourself? What? If I can get my GoPro going, I'll net it for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put the phone it. down. Nice blue. Good first fish to start out with. I think Charlie knows on fish. There we go. 20 something. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one to start out with. Yeah. He might be 30. 28. I don't have my bow going, but you got a scale? Yep. Heck yeah. Solid first fish. Not bad, not bad. That mag cutter got him so good. We have to break out the pliers. The big ones. <sighs> got him. Let's go. Right at 30, 30 pounder. Yeah. <laughs> Called it. Nice 30 pound fish to start the day. Lean, mean fighting machine. Oh, yeah. Let them go. Let them go, let them grow. See you later, buddy. He gone. Next. My turn. Yeah. Up. I don't know how big he is. Hard to tell with mono. Just ate it and came straight at us. Straight at us. Up river. He's not gotten squirrely. Tighten this real seat down a little bit. I think he's gonna go 20 something. Look how he's digging. Might be a flat. No, blue, 12. Not one flat here. I, that's what I was expecting to get here. Fish number two, number two. He slammed it. Yeah, he was going with it. He may be 15, 16. They always grow when you put them in the boat. Yeah. Look how long he is, too. Yeah, that's As opposed fish. to our fish. Dang, he's skinny. Mm-hmm. Super skinny. These hooks are pretty awesome. Old 17 pounder, my first fish of the day. We're up to 47 pounds on spot number one. There we go. 
Not bad, not bad. Hopefully we get a one that slimes me out of death, but this one ain't gonna do it. And he's too big to keep. We're having a fish fryer. The UT Wildlife uh, program's having a big fish fry uh, this coming week, I think. So we're gonna catch some fish for them if we get some smaller ones, but he's over 15, so we're gonna let him go. They don't really taste that good when there's anything over that. He's got some teeth. Look at him in there. Thank you. That ain't nice. That ain't nice. We're going to dig out a big live shed. That'll work. Kind of catches a big flathead. Primo bait right there. And if they don't eat it alive, we'll chop it up later. Come on, buddy. Live Chad. Live Chad. I'm gonna backlash your reel. Hopefully not. <laughs> I did not. It's a miracle. Yeah. Go down, go down, go down, go down. He's on, he's on. That was pretty quick. Hey. <laughs> On the spinner, he ain't very big. He's gonna be one of them eater sized ones. One of them eater sized ones. Come on, get up here. We even got all the rods out. Smack down. Over the top, over the top, over the top. Come on, buddy, get on up here. We're gonna get us a white bass out. These white bass broke the rule. If you cut me, you die. <laughs> gotcha. Yep. Each one of them did. I guess an old white bass head. You don't catch a ton of fish on white bass, but when you do, it's usually a pretty good one. Good yeah. Usually deters all the little fish. head you want this one right out this side no it's only got a four i think i may just do a rod shuffle here a little bit yeah and i'll check this one out that way we'll hide on that ledge we're sitting in 28 and it drops down to about 45 out there y'all we marked a decent looking rock pile behind us and we just came up above it Put spot lock on, threw a drift sock out, and we're fished within 30 seconds. Didn't even have to throw an anchor. It's a lazy man's way of doing it. And I like that, because I'm lazy. Hopefully we get us a big mamma jamma slamma. And we're gonna throw us one more big bait. I, I usually save one of the largest double rigs for the deepest portion and that's over there I'm gonna send her out there as far as I can and now we go back to big chilling now we wait all right I'll call you back Got him. Oh, he came off. Oh. Dang it. Oh, that was going to be a good fish. I think I grabbed it too soon. Oh, man. We just missed a good one. I grabbed it too soon. I rookied it. Dang. I grabbed that rod like I was tuna fishing in the Gulf. You don't do that when you're catfishing. I should have let it eat it. We're getting dink bit now. Oh, that one. It was weird that was casted on that way and he hit it and was going up up that way with it. And I messed it up. Next time. So there was somebody fishing for bass at the creek mouth we wanted to fish. So we've come to the head of this island right here and we're sitting in 12 feet of water throwing up into like 
eight probably and we're going to see if there's any active catfish on the head of this island and if we don't find any we're going to go uh downstream and start dragging up the channel go get them maybe what a little dink now he's on it maybe that that looks like a fish fryer to me I bet when we start dragging, we're going to catch 30 fish. I guarantee it. It'll be one after another. Just whether we get the big bite or not is the question. We're dragging a little bit there. Think. Use a garage. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Come on, eat it. Eat it. There's all kinds of bait up and down this little. I don't know. I, we're in the main channel. It ain't very deep here, though. Right. It's like 20 feet, maybe, on either side of this island, guys. Probably 18 now that the water's down. Something like that. And we're going to just drag up it in the current here in a second. I hope we don't get snagged. Yeah, the third one. Getting poop bit. All right, so the dinks are in on shallow water, apparently. Come on, go down. He's swimming off to the right with it. Get him? Yeah. Maybe. Boy, that is an eater if I've ever seen one. Look at this little thing. Oh, look at this tiny little channel cat. We may keep him alive for flathead bait. Yeah. I don't even know how he's hooked, to be honest. Me either. The bait's bigger than his. Look at this thing, you guys. Oh, he's he's bait. <laughs> what the heck? That one's getting bit. You sir are gonna be flathead bait. Come on, go down. He's swimming off to the right with it. Put it down. That might be a little decenter. You slammed it down. What was that on, Chad? Yeah. Left or right? Oh, you may have a striper. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> the way he's doing it. Maybe. I think you're up underneath this one. Yeah, we're all right. Maybe. Them blue cats will act. There. Them blue cats will act all weird whenever it's this shallow. That's true. They ain't got no place else to go. No. Little blue. Little blue. He will keep. He will not keep. I'm not eating that. <laughs> He has been around a minute. That is an ugly blue cat. Yeah. Gosh, he's ugly. Look at this thing. He is ugly. Ugly, ugly. Yuck. He slammed it though. They don't play when it's up shallow. It's just gone. Oh, you give me that back now. He took our shad head. <laughs> no free meals here. Got it. <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> it's better than the alternative of you getting eaten. Look how skinny he is. They're usually not this skinny here. That's really skinny. Yeah. Missing a whisker. Yeah, no whisker. He's beat up. Reused bait going back out. Oops. Not going back out. Going back out. Dragon time. Put these lights on the end of these. Yeah. It's pretty nifty. Can you replace the batteries yeah. in them? Or you just Here. unscrew it? 
Yeah, they're just candle lights. They're waterproof candle lights from Amazon. And I think they were like $20 for 20 of them or something. That's sick. Stupid. They change color. And... Come on, go get him. You're up. Get him, get him, get him. Our first fish dragon. Hey. How's he feel? Well, decent. Like an eater? Uh, Maybe too big for an eater? Maybe too big for an eater. Nice takedown. I didn't even see it. Wasn't any question, it was just down. Yeah, there's no biting. Working them on around. Now we just need a big slam of jamma. If we get some drag we've been pulling at 0.5 for about 20 minutes now no bites and then he sped us up to 0.6 yeah. something like that and we got bit well maybe it's a speed thing or maybe we just ran across the hungry one we don't know he's growing he's getting a little squirrely though doing a little circle thing yeah i bet he's 12 pounds. 12, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Nope, maybe less than that. Yeah. Felt better because <laughs> of the current. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, all right. Charlie's not used to fishing current no. up on Cherokee. We're on Watts Bar today on the river section. He is definitely an eater. Yeah. That will be one for the grease. He might go 10. I don't know. Not very good at guessing the smaller ones like that. I guess because I don't ever weigh them. What's your guess? Um, eight. Eight. I caught an eight pound large one the other day, skip jack fishing. Eight pound? That's, that's a fish. Get him. Got a fish or a snag. Nine pound. I don't know what this is. This might be a fish. It sure look like it. Yep. Nine it pounds. Nine pounds? The bite definitely looks different on mono. Oh, he just came off, I think. No, he's coming at me. Oh, there he is. This may be a little better. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, the way he moved that planer board, it looked like a better fish. Yeah, he's just staying down right now. Now he's coming at me. Did he come off? No. No. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to guide the line in like I'm out tuna fishing still. <laughs> I think I got it. I'm bringing that board though. This one's a little bit better, I think. They like it just a little bit. I better. bet. I bet it's a flathead. Think so? It's just staying down. It's kind of weird, but when I get tight to it, it's like got some weight. Or he snag one or two. Gosh, this is way out there. Yeah. In a workout, just bring him in. Come on, bud. Get up here. I'm gonna double cross. Come off. Yeah. Oh, he just got swirling on me. Is he snag? What's going on here? Gone. No. Oh, he's on the other line. 
All right. Do I even have a fish? No, but this one does, I think. I'm so confused. Yeah. Well, that one just popped loose, whatever it was. No, this one has a fish on it, I think. This is your bait. Okay. Oh, that is a mess. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't know how that happened or how we're going to get it undone. He's going to use the knife type. I don't know which one's which. It's all wrapped up now. I can feel them tugging on there. It's still there. See a decent fish? Can't tell yet. What a mess! How did he do this? I don't know. Let's mm -hmm. cut that. Let's cut this right here, and it should that should help us a little bit. Well, if it, we were meant to catch this fish, we're gonna catch it now. Yeah. We should have dragged him come, come undone already twice. This dragon was circle hook, so I'm still on. Still on. Oh! Lost the beaties. All right. Nice, Somehow man. we still got him. This is, it feels like decent heavy weight, man. Yeah. I'm thinking this is like a small-ish, like, I don't know. He's just been coming with me the whole dang time. He just got mad there for a second. Fired up. Decent blue. Oh, he's about 20 pounded. Fatfish. Yeah. That's respectable. Respectable. He's 25. Yeah, respectable. There you go. Nice 22 pound fish. He just wanted a little faster. A little faster. Hopefully, we get hit. But yeah, there we go. See ya. Oh, we had a bite on the planter board. That's coming up on that hump. On that hump? Yep. We're dragging up the main channel right now. We got an island right there, and there's like a little hump that's three feet higher out here. And we're right on the tip of it with those right now. Let's see if I can pull it up on my phone without showing exactly where we're at. Because I'll show you what we're doing, but I ain't giving you exact coordinates. But there it is and we're right on the edge of that and he's sitting on the tip of that point looks like we got something going here y'all it's acting awful flat heady it's just been doing this for a while i mean for like five minutes look there's our timer Who's up? Is it you or me? It's you. Are you sure? I, yeah, I think it's you. I think I caught that 20 last. Who <laughs> caught the dink down there? I caught the dink. Dude. Yeah, was the dink after the bigger one? I don't remember. I think it's a flathead. Down there? I don't know. I'm just going to slow. Just leave it there for a second and see what happens. Yeah, look. Let me tip on that. I'm gonna reel down and see what happens. I'm not sure what's. Well, he's way up here. 
way up here. What the heck is going on? I'm not sure what's going on. Huh? No, that's a fish. She's dead weight right now. Going up. Oh, it just came off. No. no. No, that was a big fish, dude. Yeah. No, what? What? I mean, he just came off. Like, there's nothing on the tip of the hook. It's perfectly sharp. Like, I can dang scratch my nail with it. It's that sharp. He just, maybe he was whisker hooked or something. That sucks. That was big. That was a lot of weight on that. Yeah, when you got him right to the boat and it, it was straight down. down, I was like, oh. <laughs> God bless. That stinks. Well, I'll throw it back out there. I think that was a big flathead. If I had to guess. I got one swimming with this one. You're up. I ain't going again. Not after that. He is swimming with that. For sure. Yeah, he's going to the left. Put it down. Dang, nab it. Come on, can't catch a break. Might be about to go down. Yeah, that's on there, come get him. Oh, drag, lots of drag. Come get him. I don't know. Come walk around again, I guess. And we'll just fight him up to the right. That's a good one. Feels pretty good. Maybe we'll get some redemption here. And then I'll... Heck yeah, it's on that big, big shed. There you go. Oh, that's got a lot of weight. That's going to be a netter for sure. Oh, yeah. He just folded that down. Good fish. Yeah. Definitely an over. Oh, look at his drag. <laughs> oh, buddy. Well, yeah, it's a good one. Looks like we know if we do fish the tournament tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know how good he's hooked, so. That was a run. Yeah. I think you're gonna have a good one. Oh, my, daddy, yes. You knew he was in here. Yep. That other one was a flat too, guarantee it. Nice. Hell yeah. Oh, that's 30 pound fish. Damn, they're so cool looking. They're my favorite, favorite catfish. I catch so many blues. Look at that mouth. <laughs> well, that was a solid flathead pushing about 30 pounds, something like that. He's skinny. That'd be. 35 38 pound fish when he gets fat here in the spring he just woke up look at that weird colors on him right there beautiful that's super cool let me take a picture of that hold on yeah just look at the colors on that thing beautiful all right let's toss him back see you buddy cool yeah me losing the other one now really hurts that way now they're <laughs> flatheads here yeah, just look at the colors on that thing. Beautiful. All right, let's toss them back. See you, buddy. Cool. Yeah, me losing the other one now really hurts. That way now they're <laughs> flatheads here. I believe we need another, need another fresh shad, sir. Fresh shad. 
Yeah. Yeah. One of them made a little skipjack chunk and Because all I ass. did was just cut the tail off of that one. Yep. Stabbed it a little bit. Is that what we should do this time? Just yeah. Tail them? Tail them and put a couple slits in them and get them bleeding. Double hook rig them. Look, he's still floppering. <laughs> Big old shad. Shaddy McShad shad. I'm glad I took that one. Come on, bud. Yeah, I'm glad you took it too. Because it would have come unhooked if it was mine. Chuck room back out there. Achoo. Right at the alarm. Okay, we moved downstream to another creek mouth because that first one seemed to work. And I'm dropping a just a giant bait. Gotta roll with white bass, you guys. If it cuts me. It, uh, it dies while I'm skipjack fishing. And that one's acting funky again. Yeah, you seen that? Are we moving? Shouldn't be. None of the other ones are having an issue. That's really weird. I think that's a fish. You think that's a fish? Nope. That was weird. Really weird. Getting pretty thin pickings here, anyway. One dead one. I think that's it. And a channel cat. That was really weird. I wonder if a paddlefish swam into it. And now by contrast, we'll go with a little Chad. Small Chad. Skadoosh. We got a fish here. That may end up being a good fish. I'm gonna put my skipjack rig down. He's swimming with it out to the channel. Is that real down on me? Yeah, real. You got him? Yeah. 
I guess moving up in the mouth is the move. Wow, that's a finicky fish. It is. I bet it's a flathead. Flopping around. Oh look, this one right here. Maybe he's on that. See on this line right here. Yeah, I think he's on this line. Dang. Might be. That was a wacky bite, wasn't it? Yeah. That one's over there is snagged. Oh. Little flathead. Little flathead. Thought it looked like a flathead bite. I think he snagged in everything. Yeah. He ate it on top of that ledge and swam back down. Tangled in it all. Oh yeah, both of these lines. Uh -huh. Oh, you little butthole. Dang it. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Look at him lassoed like that. <laughs> I don't even know if he's got a hook in his mouth. That's just crazy. And it's hung on something. Yeah, one of those is now snagged. How are we gonna get him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mistake. <laughs> that was wacky. Come on in here, buddy. A little flatty, a little flatty, a little flatty. Whoa! God got me in the face. Look at this bag of mess we got, y'all. He did it. You are fooled now. What we got for bait here? Channel cat. See you later. You think he's gonna eat that? Come on. Go down with it. Go down with it. Go down with it. Go down with it. He's probably swimming with it. Let's go put a hook in him. Who's up? You? Oh, wait, it's my turn. You caught that little yeah, flathead. Here, hold this camera. Point at that rod. Right. Watch, watch me mess this up, you guys. Got that one, huh? Better fish? I don't think so. Ain't sure yet. I think he's a little flathead. If I had to guess. He was just dinking with it for like Yeah, forever. At least two minutes. Oh, my foot's asleep. I don't know what he's doing. That was the weirdest bite ever, wasn't it? Yeah. I didn't think he was going to take it, and I surely didn't think it was going to be as big as it is. I don't know what it is yet. This spinning rod is like the lightest model they have. It's just the fun rod we call it, the fun rod. <laughs> Yet, and he hasn't gotten swirly either. No, he's staying straight down. I bet it's not a flathead. Come on. I'm just eating it up because I don't know how good he's doing. He's got a little swirly there. I don't think it's very big. I was gonna say he's got that rod touching the water about. That's why I like catching him on this thing. It's so fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's not taking any grass. He's a lazy flathead, maybe. Come on up here. 
Bull Creek now. I bet he's like 12 pounds. That's it? Yeah. This rod's light. <laughs> That's a good one. He's a flathead, though. I yeah, called it. You said it. Let me hold that. That's a nice looking flat. Yeah. That's the biggest flat of the day. You think? Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't take any drag. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's bigger than I thought. Yeah, he's probably thirty something. He's gonna go sideways to the door. Charlie was saying like he couldn't believe how slow he took that for a fish of that size. Charlie does a lot of dragging, and usually when you hook one dragon, it's like there you go, up on Cherokee. But gosh, look at this guy. Look at the head on him. He's thirty plus. Oh yeah. Nice. All righty, guys. Here we go. Big old 35-pound flathead, baby, on the spinning pole. Bit real lethargic, so they're becoming active again as we come out of the winter and go into the spring. But we got them. Big guy. We're going to come back here and release them. Let them go. That's my favorite. Flatheads always do that. Just whoosh. 